What's going on YouTube? Jay's Vapes here. Welcome back and thank you so much for tuning in. Today for review, just real quick, we're going to take a look at this RDA. I got this one, the Obelisk. Obelisk? I'm not sure how you said it. Obelisk. Obelisk by Cartel Mods. Uh, never tried anything by Cartel Mods before. I'm sure y'all have heard of the Cartel Mod, uh, like the Revenant Mod and stuff like that. It's been around for a long time. They've never been cheap. You know, it's always been a little more of an expensive mod. With this RDA, when it came out, it was not cheap. I found this one on clearance at Avape. I got it for like 10 bucks, something like that. Really nice looking little package, a uh, little stain, little tin. I don't know what that's made out of. Uh, designed in California, assembled in China. It says steel. That's what we got, the stainless steel version. Got it sitting on top of my Dapo right now. Uh, been playing with it for the last day or so, just messing around with it. Put a build in it, like I said, it's been kind of playing around with it. It come in this, uh, like I said, case here. It's pretty nice. A little foam padding in there. You got your little uh, accessory package and triple tree. You got a nice little triple tree tool there. I don't, I don't ever use these things. Nice little triple tree accessory bag. You got a nice 510 drip tip adapter, stainless steel. You got a squamp pin, some O-rings, some extra grub screws. All your usual suspects. Uh, like I said, never tried this before. I thought it was a good looking RDA. Really just a really clean, sexy looking RDA. I really like that stainless steel. I like the drip tip on top of it. We're just going to talk about it for a little bit. So on the bottom here, not much to see. You got Cartel Obelisk on the bottom. You got a kind of a side and a bottom airflow. This is going to be your side. This is going to be your bottom. Uh, the 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 side is adjustable the bottom is not probably shouldn't have took it off the mod to take it apart the o-rings that actually go from the top cap to the base are decent uh like it's not hard to pull it off not hard to pull it off but the o-rings from this where you adjust the airflow on top are freaking ridiculous man like you cannot like turn that it is so stiff the o-rings on top of that thing uh, there's a look at the inside of it. Like I said, everything's pretty nice for this thing. It's pretty clean looking. I don't see any scratches or nothing. But I just push my finger in there and I got juice all over. I just push my finger in there and get it out. But so you got three pieces. You know, top of your drip, the uh, middle here, and then the bottom section. But you got these three airflow holes that are adjustable. That's going to come in from the side. And then the bottom, you got those little bitty thin section little bitty thin section where the airflow comes in from the bottom but that part is not that part you just cannot adjust it with it on the mod that airflow is so hard to adjust i need a screwdriver or something i don't know where my junk's at all right so i got some regular just clappings in there my buddy mailman vapes 2 sent me these thank you so much man i really appreciate it they're working pretty good. This cotton is just everywhere in here. I should have saved this and showed y'all a little bit better uh, with the building there. It's kind of hard to see there. But you got airflow that comes in from the bottom. It goes up at kind of an angle. I don't think this airflow is hitting anything, to be honest. Uh, you know, I tried to build it to that side airflow. I put the coils directly in front of that side airflow. I started off with them a little inward and to kind of try to catch that bottom airflow because the bottom airflow kind of comes up at an angle. So you got, you need, they need to be in further to hit that airflow in my opinion, but for the side airflow, they need to be closer, you know, this way to that airflow to where you're getting the best flavor from that one. So I just, I don't understand this airflow. You can't shut off the bottom. You can't shut off the top. Uh, if you were to build it to just the bottom airflow, it's really restricted with both open. It's too much. So, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really sure. Whatever way you'd like to run it the best. But I brought those coils out. The deck on it, like I said, I know it's hard to see. I'll I'll post a picture up here so y'all can see the deck, a little better picture of it. But the deck looks just like the drop deck. It's it's pretty much identical. Uh, you know, it is what it is. You know, this came out after the drop. I'm not sure how long it's been out now. It's been out a while. Like I said, I got it on clearance. But I don't know about that whole side airflow plus the you know bottom airflow the cotton the wicking on this thing um it's very it's very awkward because you have to like kind of loop it around 
the post there. It kind of goes around the post and then down at the deck. They have to be pretty long. It's a pretty deep deck. It had to be pretty long to reach the bottom of that deck. Uh, so you rely really heavily on capillary action. It's good to drip right down the center of this thing. I'm sure Squonk will be fine. It's good to drip right down the center. Uh, but you're going to have to wait. You're going to have to wait on that juice to get up through those wicks to hit that coil. Uh, it's not going to be something instant unless you're taking the, cop, the top cap off every second painting your coils. So it's a good looking RDA. That's it sitting on top of the Nunchaku. Looks pretty sexy. I like the way that looks. Oh, uh, we got a .32 in there. We're hitting it at 65 watts. Like I was saying about those coils, I had them positioned a little more in them towards the middle to begin with, uh, and I just I wasn't impressed with the flavor at all. I was thinking, like I said, if I moved them closer to that middle, that the airflow on the bottom would catch it and get a little better flavor. But I just I don't feel like the airflow on the bottom is doing much. I feel like most of your flavors come from the side. It'd be nice if you could shut the bottom off. If you could shut that bottom off, because that, that's hot. That side airflow is all you need for this thing. The bottom seems pretty useless to me. There's no way to shut it off. It's wide open. The only thing, like I said, you can do is build that coil to the bottom and shut the top off. But that's all we open. I moved them out close to that airflow. I moved them close to the top cap. Moving them that close to the airflow, there's not a lot of room in here. You know, you got to be careful that your top cap's not touching your coils when you put it down in there. Or you're just going to have a short. This is on the Dapo. We got it sitting on about 2.5 on the spedentiometer. Let me drip a little, let me drip a little juicy juice down in there. Like I said, dripping straight down the center, big old wide bore 810 drip tip. I really do like the drip tip on this. I think it looks good, feels good, works good. The flavor is not bad on this thing, but I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed with it at all. I really believe that bottom airflow is hurting it. It's just too much airflow coming in for no reason, in my opinion. Maybe I'm building it wrong. You know, let me know down in the comments what y'all think. But like I was showing you, that bottom airflow, it's like you got you get one or the other. I can't see how it hits. You get both airflows hitting it at once. Uh, maybe that's the way it's supposed to work, but it just doesn't. It doesn't seem like it does it for me. That bottom airflow comes up at an angle, you know, and it, putting them closer to this, the side airflow, you're basically missing it. It's basically like the airflow is just coming up and going straight past the coils into your mouth. You're basically just getting the flavor coming off that side airflow and not the bottom. But for 10 bucks, you know, I'm not sure if it's still available. I'll look it up for y'all and see if it still is. For 10 bucks, man, it was a nice looking RDA. It's from Cartel. I know they've made nicer products. Uh, like I said, it was not cheap when it came out. It was like a $60 RDA when this thing came out. So I snatched it up for 10 bucks. Figured I'd give it a try, let y'all know my thoughts. But that's it, guys. All in all, you know, it's not bad, but it's not great. I'm not impressed with it. Flavor is decent, but definitely not my favorite RDA. The flavor got better. I, I should have mentioned that. The flavor got better as I moved it towards that air, outer airflow, that um, side airflow, but it came at a cost. Moving the coils closer to that top cap made that top cap heat up a whole lot faster. I wasn't experiencing any heat when it, the coils were further away from it, but the closer I moved it to that top cap, it's not hot, but it gets warm. But that's it, guys. That's about all I want to say about it. Thank y'all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Y'all come back tomorrow for another review. And if you're new here, then please consider subscribing. Hit that like button for me. And this is Jay's Vape. Sam Murray, people. Don't drip and drive.